What's up everybody, welcome back to today. We're going to be doing Naruto Baryon mode using Rasengan. So I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil eraser and hit pause if we go too fast. Center point of my page about here, we're going to come over and start with his eyes, right? So his head's kind of tilted. So we go typical sort of Naruto eye. So we'll do this kind of curved line up and over like that. And then we always have this spike sort of down here. And you can kind of thicken up his eye a little bit. Thicken up the eye line. Right, like so. And the bottom eyelid comes across here. Up like so. Iris. Circle. Down from the top eyelid. And then his pupil, we're going to give him sort of the skinny fox eyes. Like so. So there's an eyebrow. <clears throat> comes across kind of the touches the top of his eye right so we've got this kind of tick that just goes across the top of his eye here and then it spikes out the back like that and you have to sort of draw a little space that you can color yellow so we just go up here and then back here and if you want we give him a sort of eyelid line here and maybe there Okay, so you want to measure the width of the eye that will fit in between both of his eyes. So this is where his other eye starts, right? So just here. And we're kind of, we're a little bit higher up, so it's kind of in line with the eyebrow because his head is kind of tilted. So here we'll fit an eye and we'll just go up a slight bit. We're kind of in line with the eyebrow. So top eyelid then, curve up and over. Like so, and then we got a bit of a spike coming down here, and we'll just thicken it up a bit on top. Bottom eyelid comes around underneath, and then iris. Like so, and then his pupil, fox-like, skinny eye. Eyebrow then touches the top eyelid line, so just this tick that goes up and back. And then you gotta draw in a space that you can color yellow. Like so. Then we have some frown lines just here. And like a little line for his nose, kind of just coming down there. Nostrils just down here. So they just draw in these curved lines for his nostrils. And then his mouth, just a flat sort of line that comes across here. Might be smiling on the ends just a little bit. So you'll add these little lines across like that. And then his bottom lip line, just there. Chin, he's a pretty square chin, so it comes across like this. <clears throat> and we're kind of different both sides. So this is what's called a three quarter pose slightly, right? So we can see the jaw on this side. So it'll go up to there and then change direction, okay? So we're kind of in line with the nose and then on this side, you go curve out. See, it's different curve. And then it comes around the cheek and goes up to there. So we're slightly different both sides. It's because it's kind of three-quarter pose. Three-quarter pose is basically when the head turns away on this side or on, on that side, any side, but it just slightly turns. So then up here, we can see some like sideburn action going on and the sideburn on this side is slightly higher up so we'll put it like here okay and then his ears come out from there the ear line there like that and then 
ear line inside. Letter J or letter T is kind of the easiest way. And then you can add more lines to it if you want to make it a bit more complicated, like so. So then the lines, the black lines that come around his eyes, right? So we've got like these spikes in here that come in towards the nose first. And then it goes down, spike in, back, up. Do the same here, down, spike in, back, and up. And then these become like these big ears, right? So it goes like, and then down into his eyebrow. And the same kind of on this side. This one's kind of skinnier. Like so. There's a few more just coming on his face. Spike back. Spike back and then same on this side. So you just spike back and then spike back. Then his fringe comes across the top and it's typical sort of Naruto sort of hair spikes. And it's just these kind of zigzag lines that come across here. And then the rest of his hair. So we've got these big ears that come up down there. And then a few hair spikes at the back. Like so. And then up here. Coming across towards the other big sort of ear on this side, which goes up this way. And then a couple of hair spikes down here. And I think there's a few small ones down here as well. <coughs> uh, right, so his collar comes down around this way comes down towards his zipper. And he actually has some black lines that go down onto his neck as well. I didn't actually know that. Right, so then, big collar comes out there. This goes down to the bottom of the zipper, sort of down there. So this zipper is in here. And then this will go back out this way. And then back in behind. More collar lines inside. So we got like another collar line here. And then one there. And then inside as well, coming down towards the front. There, like so. So we got like a red cape sort of thing over his shoulders. Okay, so this will go. Right, so it's kind of flying back. So there's lots of energy, right? So we're gonna go. Put it here. So we'll go up this way, and then this comes down across the front of his chest. Kind of bumps here. This is like the center line for his chest, so it bumps there. And then it will kind of go off over his shoulders. So say his shoulder here. So imagine this goes down. Should come back up around here somewhere. And then we'll put another sort of full line for clothing there. So in here he's got this spiral type symbol, right? So Kind of goes around up like so, right? The other side of it. This is all sort of colored the same sort of color inside. Black or really dark gray, right? So you start it like this. 
kind of like a question mark turns upside down. And then there's all spikes that come out of this. Okay, all right, so that's like the symbol on his chest. Let me see all the tails that come out from behind, right? So we can see a couple of them anyway. So like a big one here. Right, and there's like a black line that comes down the center of that one. And there's a few at the back, is there? Yeah, so okay, we'll just draw them in as best we can. So they're all red back here. This one here. This goes black line off that way. And in here. There, so that's all of the red tails. Okay, so they're saying that it's kind of like sticking out here. Well, we can see his body, I guess, sort of just there. Like some of his body and then the racing is here right so if you have something circular to draw around you know like a cup that's the right size or like a speaker or something well that's a speaker but like a compass or a stencil or anything you want you can use that but if not you can freehand the circle so you can mark out your edges roughly where you think so your sub circumference of a circle is always the same the whole way around right so that's what you're aiming for. This and this are about the same distance, and this and this. And then you can sort of join them together. Yeah. It's always harder than it looks. Right, so. And then this will dictate where we put his hand. That's sort of holding it. Or sort of generating it. He doesn't really hold it, does he? Okay, so inside, you do all these kind of spiraling. All these sorts of wind whoosh lines inside, technical term, whoosh lines. So you're just trying to make it look spherical. So, okay, and then, so you can put some sort of energy lines coming off it and wind and all this kind of stuff as well. And um, so like, basically you could go like just some, see, I'm going off this way. Maybe like one going off this way as well. And like some debris and stuff in the air. Uh, 
and then we'll get his hand in. So I kind of goes behind the thing. So say his arm go out here. And we can just see the end of his sleeve. Just here, this kind of tube coming out this way. I mean, he's got those um, black lines. Three of them. One on the end. And then his hand, right? So his hand, it's all bandaged. So it comes out this way. And we got like a couple of bumps for knuckles. And we can just see the thumb first here. So it comes around. And then like the palm of his hand there. And then the other side comes out. We can see like the knuckle of his pinky. And I'll go in behind the Rasengan there. And then we have fingers all in here. So his index finger goes in behind the Rasengan there. And like the top of the palm of his hand will just kind of like bump across here. So then this finger goes in behind. Cross. There. Cross like so. And then his little finger is here. It goes in behind the Rasengan. All right, so that's the kind of shape. Hands are tricky, so hit pause and try and get that sort of shape. He's got all these bandage lines then, right? So this comes down. To there. And then Like so. Right, and then if you want to put more sort of wind and debris and rocks and stuff in the air, you know, little sort of things like this, just squiggly sort of lines basically, just random shapes. Um, whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> right. Naruto, Rasengan, Baryan mode. Hope was helpful. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video as usual. Like, subscribe, share, etc. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.